Hello my friends and welcome to another video and grocery haul. Now, let's have a little chat before I get into this one. I wanna talk about why, in fact, nope, I'm gonna save that till the end of the video. If you wanna see why I've decided to increase our grocery budget, hang around until the end of the video. Let me show you what I picked up today from Winco, Smith's, and my discount store. I don't know what the total is right now. I'll put it on the screen or something once I figure it out. Here is a shot of everything. Let's just go left to right. I did separate it by store. So right here is my bread outlet. I picked up, okay, the prices were on the bottom row, four loaves for $3. So I got two 100% whole wheat and two of the multi-grain with flax. And then these bins were five items for $3. And so I got a sourdough, cracked wheat sourdough, two regular bagels, one great seed bagel, and one English muffin. So that was $6 at my discount bread store. At Winco, I picked up these pears. They're not ripe yet, um, so we're gonna let them sit on the counter for a little bit. I saw these Grill Mates Chipotle Pepper and Mojito Lime. I thought I would do some marinated grilled chicken for some chicken salads for lunch next week. Avocados for said salads. I, If you guys remember the Sabre Recall, uh, a couple of months ago, they sent me two coupons for free Sabra item up to $5. So I picked these up today at Winco and fun fact, there was also a $3 Ibotta rebate as well. So uh, I did not, well, I didn't pay anything for them because it was a free coupon and then I got $3. So I got paid $3 to buy these two hummuses. So yay. Um, nutritionals on here. Hummus is a touch high in fat. Um, so just keep that in mind. It's totally delicious though. I picked up two brown sugar blend Splendas. These were on clearance at Winco for $2 each. I'll get into that later at the end of the video. I'm gonna try the riced cauliflower and riced cauliflower medley um, for some things. Also, this whole topic I'll talk about at the end of the video. As always, our tortilla chips, taco salads, chips and salsa, we gotta have them. We just gotta have them. Um, I do a lot of garlic, and so I thought I would splurge a little bit and pick up the peeled garlic, and then I can use my microplaner and just like zest it into whatever dish I'm making. I'll let you guys know what I think of that. It's kind of an interesting little, talk about convenience, but yeah, I'm kind of excited to not peel them myself anymore. Um, and then last thing at Winco, I believe, yeah. I restocked my mints. My kids have obliterated my mints. In my church bag, I usually keep mints and they are gone. So I got the Icebreakers Duo Strawberry, the Raspberry, the Sours, Tangerine Watermelon Green Apple, and Wintergreen. The Icebreakers is my favorite brand. It's the one I always look for. And at Winco, they were definitely the cheapest. No, these were from Smith's. They were $1.80 each. So I almost paid like $8 just for these. So just, yeah. That's just life. It is what it is. Okay, Smith's is the rest. Um, I just picked up these apple slices were on clearance uh, for $1.99. There's five of them in here. Fun little snack. I wanted to try these Special K proteins. These were also clearance for 39 cents each. So I just picked up three of those, so I spent about a dollar to try those. Uh, the hamburger buns on clearance for 50 cents. The hot dog buns on clearance for 50 cents. What a deal. So obviously we're having burgers in the meal plan. Bolt House Farms was buy one, get one free today at $3.49 each. So it was like $1.75 a bottle. Uh, if you're looking for a healthier ranch dressing, you guys, I cannot recommend this enough. It tastes delicious. It's made with Greek yogurt. Only 45 calories for two tablespoons. Uh, lots of veggies, uh, all clearance stuff. I baby spinach, some a triple thing of peppers, this broccoli slaw, two two broccolis, one cauliflower and broccoli, and then they even had these: the spiralized zucchinis and sweet potatoes. 
their fat-free cream cheese was a dollar a thing. So I picked up four of those for some protein cheesecakes. I'm gonna be making those a lot more. And then three heads of lettuce for salads, as my husband has requested like chicken salads for lunches all next week. So I got one head of romaine, one head of green leaf, and one head of iceberg, 99 cents a head, cheaper than any other store, including Walmart. By the way, Walmart does not price match anymore. So um, yeah, not digging that right now. Let's talk about why I'm upping the grocery budget. Do I have a grocery budget at this point? Not right now. Um, I just want to see how much it costs to eat the way uh, we're going to try and eat. So here's here's the background. Um, my husband is an incredibly healthy person, right? Very, very healthy. He works out all the time. He's lean. He eats fruits and vegetables and he eats lean meats. And it's, like, it's not like he's chowing down on chips and soda. He never drinks soda, like ever. Um doesn't eat desserts that much. Anyway, we, he got his physical, true. We haven't gotten physicals for a long time. Okay, just saying. Um, and his cholesterol is high and he is looking pre-diabetic. Um, both of those things can run in your family, uh, genetically. As far as cholesterol goes, like there's nothing else he can do. He's doing everything right. Uh, it's just genetic. And the same is a little bit true as far as the pre-diabetes. His dad has diabetes. Um, so it's something that was probably going to come up anyway. And so what we're going to do is we are going to try and, I mean, he eats well, but we're going to try and tighten it in just a little bit more. Uh, the good news is my mom is a dietitian, a diabetes educator, and can give us all the information we need about what his uh, carb goals should be because we want to prevent him from getting diabetes. Okay, that's the goal. So if you had looked at that last grocery haul, um, most of the carb sources I had were complex carbs um, and had a, I wanna say it's a low glycemic index is what you're looking for. So all the bread was whole grain, the seed bagels were for him, um, all the veggies and that kind of thing. Obviously I had some regular things in there because I mean, the kids got to eat stuff too. So I probably will still buy crackers and regular bread and, and stuff like that. But uh, we're definitely going to cut back on any packaged food uh, at all. And then we're going to cut down on the carbs, desserts, uh, that kind of thing, and up the fruits and vegetables. Because we just want to see if we can like bring it under control and keep him healthy because he doesn't want diabetes. I don't want him to have diabetes. So if any of you guys are diabetic, pre-diabetic, um, struggling with it. Let me know down in the comments below. What recipes are your favorite? You guys know that we've already switched completely to brown rice. Um, so, you know, it's going to be whole wheat breads, probably going to move over to whole wheat pasta, which means we probably won't eat pasta that much, honestly. And usually I would, sometimes I would buy like a package of cookies here and there, and I'm probably going to stop doing that too. Um, cause it's just doesn't coincide with our health goals. You know, we want our insides of our body to be healthy. And so I'm going to do it with him and, uh, Hey, maybe I'll lose five pounds. I don't know. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did drop me a comment, hit the like button, make sure you subscribe. I will see you in the next one.